Okay, lesson 13-3, you using models to compare fractions. So, a fractions are used to name part of a whole. So when comparing fractions, it is important to remember that the whole must be the same size. Just like we were doing when we were doing math the other day, to compare fractions, if we draw two tall rectangles, they need to be the same size when you're comparing them. Okay, so two fruit bars are the same size. This is like a little popsicle bar, right? A little stick right there. So we need to draw them the same size and then we need to shade going the same direction. So this bar has one fourth grape and this bar has three fourths grape. So which is greater, three fourths or one fourth? Well, look at it this way, right? Here's three fourths and here's one fourth. Well, which one's greater, three fourths or one fourth? It should be three fourths, right? So three fourths is greater than one fourth. That's like saying, well, I have three apples and you have one apple who has more. Well, the person who has three. If they're all fourths, then the numerator is going to tell us which one has more, okay? As long as they're all fourths. Okay, the first story of a building is three eighths white. So this is the first floor and this is the second floor. Okay, kind of going up like that. Like here's the ground. This is the first floor and that's the second floor. So the first story of the floor, the first story of the building is three eighths white. So these parts are white, the rest is some other color. The second story is five eighths white. The stories are the same size, the first and the second story. So which is greater, three eighths or five eighths? Okay, well here's three eighths, all right? There's three eighths and here's one, two, three, four, five. Oh look, they're all together. And there's five eighths. Well, which one's greater, three eighths or five eighths? Should be five eighths, right? Five eighths is greater. So five eighths is greater than three eighths. Okay, use the fraction strips to complete the statement. If two fractions have the same denominator, okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five. This one is five eighths, right? And this is one, two, three. This one is three eighths, right here. So if they both have the same denominator, we're comparing three eighths compared to five eighths, right? And we wanna know which one is greater. If they both have the same denominator, then whichever one has a larger numerator is the greater fraction, right? If two fractions have the same denominator, the fraction with the greater numerator is the larger fraction, okay? Or the greater fraction. Okay, on the back, draw, we're gonna do it right here. Draw fraction strips to compare one third and two thirds. So you can draw these. I'm gonna use my little models here. There's one third and there's two thirds. So I want you to draw that. Okay, pause it and draw that. Draw a box and label it one third and then down below you need to do two thirds but make sure that your one third right below it is the same size because it's one third and one third and then draw a second one third. So pause it and come back. Okay, so we wanna use symbols to record the comparison. So we have one third compared to two thirds. So one third is less than two thirds. Or if you had two thirds over here, then you would have greater than. Okay, good job.